All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another live New York session, September uh, 15, 2022. So we're gonna actually trade GJ today. Looks like everything else. Um, really shot up. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's try gold actually. Let's try that. We'll try gold, let's do that. So what we're gonna do is, is mark up market structure, uh, supply demand market structure from the 15 minute time frame, all the way to the four hour time frame. So let's get started. All right, so put a vertical line here. So we see a good demand zone here. Change this to yellow. We can see price respected this on multiple occasions. We see a, a definitely a strong supply zone up here, huge supply that made price drop all the way down to this point. see a good supply zone in this area as well. See a good lot of demand in this area too. And then we can see that there was a strong supply zone up in this area. So that's pretty good there. We'll start marking up our zones. All right, let's move on to the 30 minute time frame. And so now we see that price respected this last zone here. There was a good amount of supply here. See that there was a good demand zone in this area here. We actually change this to green. Good amount of supply here. Kind of see that up here as well. So we're gonna draw a zone right there. Move on to the one hour. So basically, we're just going to rinse and repeat, so to speak. So now, when we analyze this, we can see that price eventually came down to this demand zone here. So we're going to make this red. Um, there was a good demand zone down here. You could also see that there was a good amount of supply. Um, a little bit up here. 
huge demand here that pushed price up to this zone. So we'll mark these up. Make a bread. Right. So now we're going to move on to the four hour. And so I can see that there was a strong demand zone here. So we're going to make this purple. Strong demand zone here as well. That's what made price goes go up. And then of course, when price rejected this and went down, you supply here and supply in this area. So we want to draw our zones here. Right. So now that we got this marked up, we'll go to the smaller time frames and figure out the overall direction where price is going. Price could sell a lot more down to the on this zone, and then maybe make a swing loan go up. It's a possibility. See what the one hour is saying. Yeah. So when we look at the one hour. Price is starting to respect the zone and it's starting to form a very strong uh, demand zone, a base demand zone. And you can kind of see how price is wicking it out and the candles are getting shorter and getting weaker, the bearish candles like that. So we'll look at the 15 minute here. So now, <clears throat> um, actually, it's a possibility that price starting to see that price is actually going into a bearish fashion. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. Um, because of this wick. Um, But price is really, really rejecting this demand zone, though. So I see that price broke this last structure. It might come down and do a swing low here and then go up. There might be a possibility, but then I see a big wick rejection there. So we have five minutes until the 9.15 candle. Um, this looks like, looks like price is overall bearish at this point. But price rejected this area, it might do a swing. So I'm thinking it's gonna do a swing low here and do that. Let me do a couple of things here. So I think we have a demand zone here. Could do, let's see, this was one swing already. Could do another swing here and then go up. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to wait until the 915 candle closes, and then we'll take it from there. Um, 
I want to say that I want to say that this is a demand zone. Price is probably going to push up. That's what I'm thinking. But it's going to probably come down and do a swing low and then go up. So we got about three minutes to the 915 candle closes. So be right back. All right, so we got about five seconds to the 915 candle closes. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to look for price to swing down here and then go up. So looking for an entry in this area. And the price comes all the way down here and pushes up that I'm looking to get 250 points, at least maybe up to this point. Now, If price happens to push up from this point, like it is now, you know, focus on getting 400 points up to this zone and do that. But I'm away for the next candle. In fact, I might stress this all the way down to here. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. If it goes from here up to here, get this point up to here, goes all the way down to here and then shoots all the way up to here and ultimately get up here. So this is at least 400 plus. Of course, this would be over 1100. This right here is 433. So I just make this TP1 from this point. Excuse me. Price might probably come down and respect his demand zone and maybe do another swing. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. <clears throat> now, if we're wrong and price ends up going bearish, that's fine. We're not gonna take the trade, <clears throat> but that's what we're gonna look for. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and set my alerts, and then we'll see what price ends up doing at 9:30 and beyond. All right, so alarms have been set. <clears throat> so basically what we're gonna do from this point forward is really pay attention to price action. Um, <clears throat> so I wanna see if price really respects this demand zone, but there was a supply zone up here, but I wanna see if it respects it, it swings around and then comes back up. That's what I really wanna see. So we have about nine minutes until the 9.30 bell closes. And then uh, we'll see what price ends up doing. So be right back.
So we got over 10 seconds until the 930 candle closes. It was like price probably might go down to this area, maybe do a swing low. 930 candle closed. Might create another swing down here. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll see what price ends up doing. Be right back. So price ended up going the way I thought it was going to go and went bullish. I got into this trade late because I had an incident with the squirrel in my house. It's stupid, not even worth talking about. But um, I just got into the trade here, made $99. I'll take that. But if I had got in down here, would have definitely made my money. There's over 600 points. So I'm definitely going to be doing a back testing session on this. We were right on point with this trade. Um, So we did good. The yellow is starting to curve. So we did good on that. So what I'm going to do is document this and then show you the results and then we'll wrap this session up. Looks like the yellow crossed over. So we probably are really, really bullish. So yeah, let me pause this recording. All right. so. Uh, let me go ahead and share my results with you guys. So again, this is my prop challenge trading account. Here's my $99. Would have made more if it wasn't for that stupid squirrel, but it's all good. So I'm definitely going to do a back testing session on this because we were on point with this. I figured price was going to do a swing around this area somewhere down here and it came all the way down and then really rejected this area and went up for about 500 points. So our analysis was correct. But that's it for this live session, guys. See you in the back testing session. Take care. Bye.